The sea crossing from Greece to Italy can take days. And this is no way to do it, hidden in airless cargo containers or clinging to wheel arches just inches from certain death. All those people which are trying to hide under the truck or inside the cargo, it's very, very dangerous for their lives. And for them, it's a matter of life or death to travel to Europe. For all the hundreds, perhaps thousands of times that young men like these try to stow away aboard these trucks, the success rate is infinitely small. For all the effort, for all the risk involved, it is a largely futile act. Yeah, I, got, I was on the car park, I already got three guys out, because another driver informed me that there were immigrants around, so... So what, you'd already found three guys on board yeah, your truck? underneath, I crawled underneath and found three guys. In the past year, after the borders of Europe were closed to refugees, the Greek port authorities say they've seen a four-fold increase in the numbers, perhaps a thousand a day, trying to stow away aboard ships bound for Italy. Most are discovered with a simple search. Those better hidden are detected using X-ray. The few lucky enough to actually board a vessel will face similar searches by the Italian authorities at the other end. But there's no deterring them. In most cases, they'll be released to return and try again. Ali Khan from Peshawar has made dozens of attempts. I'm from the last 20 days here. 20 days you've yeah, been here? Yeah, and I have tried about 30 times. Wow, more than once a day? Yeah, well, about two, three times, one per day. His companion Danish Khan describes being beaten by the police. He, he, he said to me, we are, why you are coming here? I say, big problem here. Uh, he fight me, foot and stick. He kicked you and he beat yeah, you with yeah. a stick? Yeah, yeah, stick. Now, it's pretty swollen, now. He shows us a bruised and swollen ankle. In just a few hours, we've watched more men than we can count in this mad dash to freedom and what they imagine is a better life somewhere else. But nothing prepares us for what happens next. His face close to the tarmac, it's Ali, the man we met earlier from Peshawar. The real story of my life, that I, was, I was a doctor here in Pakistan. You were a doctor yeah, in yeah, Pakistan? Yeah, I was a doctor. A doctor who says his life was threatened by the Taliban, whose journey by air to Iran, road to Turkey and by foot to Greece has brought him here. He really has no choice but to try again. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, at the port of Patras, Greece.